Sheen has practically taken over social media. With billions of impressions and millions of followers outcompeting all the existing fashion brands. In less than a decade, it has become the third most valued startup in the world with an earth shattering valuation of $100 billion. And it has managed to do all of that in an industry that has existed for centuries and is super competitive in nature. In 2021, Sheen's net sales were $16 billion, just $3 billion lower than the biggest fashion retailer in the world, Zara. Equally mind-blowing is the number of items Sheen stocks, which last year exceeded 1.3 million, which for comparison, Zara stocked only 35,000 during the same time period. How is Sheen able to do it and what makes it different? Let's find out. To understand Sheen, it is important to understand how the fashion industry has evolved over the last century. In the past, fashion was primarily dictated by seasons and designs were often created with a focus on quality and durability. But the process of going from runway to clothing racks took a significant amount of time. But in the late 1990s, the industry started to change dramatically. Brands like Zara and H&M took over the market by implementing shorter design, manufacturing and distribution cycles. By using just-in-time logistics, tighter supply chain control and utilizing technology to simplify their process. As the internet access became more widespread in the mid-2000s, the fashion industry underwent a significant transformation with the emergence of ultra-fast fashion and a shift from physical stores to online retail. One of the key benefits of this was centralized inventory management and the ability to reach a much larger customer base. Sheen takes the ultra-fast fashion model to the next level by involving customers in the manufacturing process and implementing end-to-end -end integration, which enables them to ship products within days rather than weeks. This approach is also known as real-time fashion. Chris Zhu, a marketing and SEO specialist founded Shein in 2012, originally under the name Shein Insight, which sold wedding dresses abroad from China. His main insight behind Shein was based on the belief that most brands were getting their clothes manufactured in China, but doing so in a fragmented way, which left a lot of room for reducing lead time and cost. He believed this could be achieved by a combination of going directly to the customers and having faster feedback loops. In fast fashion, there is something known as the impossible triangle, in which companies struggle to maintain optimal level of all three properties at the same time, where a company can quickly onboard a lot of new styles, maintain low prices, while being hyper-efficient in managing inventory. It is incredibly hard to pull it off, and Shein has managed to do this brilliantly. Their clothes are priced at a fraction compared to top retailers or fast fashion brands, while at the same time, Shein is able to offer a much larger variety of styles. The success of Shein can be attributed to three key things. Their use of customer to manufacturer model, which means having a pull-based approach rather than a push-based one. To add to that, maintaining a lean and efficient manufacturing approach, which helps them keep cost low and number of styles high. And furthermore, building their own label, which gives them more control over their brand and product offering. In the past, designers or brands would spend a significant amount of time considering how customers would react to a design before releasing it. Sheen, however, releases everything and then observes the demand for the item, eliminating the need for guesswork. This is made possible by a strong data feedback loop of analyzing customer trends, measuring outcomes and gathering insights from the web. Adding to that, they are also able to keep their initial order quantity with the supplier to as low as 100 pieces, whereas other fast fashion brands cannot go below a couple of thousand. Shein overcomes the impossible triangle by collaborating with more than 6,000 manufacturers and replacing their outdated inventory management software with their own internal management software that collects near instant feedback on which items are successful or not, enabling them to order new inventory virtually on demand and ensuring a steady stream of income for factories. They have two main types of suppliers, free on board, those who are only focusing on manufacturing and original design manufacturers who handle both design and manufacturing. They all feed into the same Sheen software. Sheen's process is fast and efficient. Designers and suppliers present their styles. Samples are made and within five days, the items are available on the website for purchase. Based on the customer feedback, the next batch is ordered. By combining China's manufacturing capacity and strong relationship with manufacturers, Sheen is able to reduce the inventory risk while also keeping costs low. The Sheen brand ties everything together. All their styles can be found on the Sheen app, orders are processed through their logistic and warehousing system, and the marketing is centralized, which helps reduce the cost of acquiring new customers. This centralized approach is not new. 
as brands like Zara and Asos have already implemented it. But when combined with the other two pieces, it makes the entire system complete. The biggest cost for any brand is the cost to market and deliver products to customers. By centralizing this process, Sheen makes marketing significantly cheaper and enables sustainable shipping from China by utilizing economies of scale. The Sheen model has firmly established itself as a norm and a leader in real-time fashion making Sheen the third most valuable company in the world with a valuation higher than of H&M and Zara combined. Like all rapidly growing companies, Sheen has its own set of challenges such as the escalating US-China trade war, concerns about sustainability and environmental damage, plagiarism of other designers' work and poor working conditions. These challenges deserve their own examination. This brings us to the end of our video on Sheen. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe to help us out. We would love to hear your thoughts. Please let us know what do you think and we will see you in the next video.